got to love the All-Star festivities. Always a great show. We'll be back to get this thing started after this. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the MLB All-Star Game. It's the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singy, always special when we get together to call the All-Star Game. Well, we've done a lot of these together, and sometimes you come in and think, ho-hum, another year. But once you look and you see these All-Star players, their uniforms on, them interacting with one another, you realize just how special it is. It's going to be a great one tonight. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the left fielder, Christian Yelich. Leading off. Singing, you National can't ask leader. for anything more. This the guy checks fielder. all the boxes Christian offensively. Yelich. He's the ultimate professional, Yelich. and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Hey, no one down here. And here it comes. Late with the swing there. Stays alive. Well, I've noticed they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Come on, big guy, get him yourself right here. Field two. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for him, but that I don't second. care where a knuckleball ends up. up. Those Miami things Marlin. dance all over the place. The and baseman. even when they pass Shut right through the that. hitting zone, squaring it up or Idiot. even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. Jonathan India at the plate. Check swing. He went. Strike one. Next offering is downstairs. That's where you want. It's a good miss. Swing and a miss. One now and one and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Juan Soto stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Hey, come on now, here we go. Hey, two outs. You one. Pitch misses at one and one. Well, Juan Soto had a huge 2021 season, just one point shy of a thousand for OPS. Absolutely a monster at the plate. This guy's pretty special. So now one and two. And the right hander deals. Stays alive. 
One two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty to the plate. And that one handled. That's the inning. One, two, three go the National Leaguers. We played an inning. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. continues to be one of the most dynamic talents in the game. That season he put together in 2021, one of the best in Padres history. Here we go, right now. Come on, guys. Tatis waits. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one out now. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Bryce Harper watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. And a pitch. Good eye oh, right there. Awesome. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses, and there's two away. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Here's Pete Alonso. Fall off foul. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss, and that's that. We head on now to the top of the third. It's a lead for the American League. One to nothing. Shohei Otani into the game. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Shohei Otani. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. 9-3, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.